said, quote, there will be a response to the attack in Iran. So does the U.S. have any indication of what those next steps are from Israel? We will let the Israelis speak to that. Does the U.S. expect to be consulted in advance of them taking any next steps? Uh, I, I won't get into our diplomatic uh, conversations or expectations. Uh, the Israeli government uh, will determine for themselves uh, if there's going to be a response and what that response is going to look like. And are you able to discuss um, the specific roles played by other members of the regional coalition from over the weekend, specifically Jordan and Saudi Arabia, whether they helped shoot down missiles or what other actions they may have done? No, I think we'll let uh, other members of the coalition speak for themselves. Um, John, Israel is reportedly looking at options that would send a message to Iran but not cause casualties. Is the administration presenting alternatives to Netanyahu? This is, uh, these, this is an Israeli decision to make, um, whether and how they'll respond uh, to what Iran did on Saturday, and we're going to leave it squarely with them. Their decision to make, but are you making suggestions? <laughs> we are not involved in their decision-making process about a potential response. And just, uh, is the president, does he have any plans to speak to Netanyahu again? I, I don't have anything on the calendar to speak to, but uh, look, I mean, they've, they've spoken frequently over the last six months. They'll absolutely speak again at the appropriate time. Thank you, Corrine. Um, John, just one day before the attack, President Biden issued a warning to Iran, don't, and now the U.S. is not taking any part in an Israeli reprisal. So does that signal to Iran that it can defy the U.S. without facing any consequences? I don't know, man. If I'm sitting in Tehran and I'm taking a look at what just happened on Saturday night, I don't think I'd be betting that the United States is uh, not willing to get engaged here and help defend Israel. I mean, you had American fighter pilots in the air, in combat operations, shooting down drones and missiles that were heading towards, uh, towards Israel, as well as U.S. Navy destroyers at sea, knocking them down from there. So the message should be very clear to anybody. When the president says we're going to take our commitments to the region seriously, when we're going to help Israel defend itself, we got skin in the game and we proved that. I understand what you're saying about deterrence, but what about consequences? As I just said, and Corrine also let in, he, he had a conversation with G7 leaders. He'll be engaging with other allies and partners. Uh, we, have achieved, uh, we have seen swift condemnations about what Iran did from the international community, and we're going to be working with international partners to, to, uh, to, to work up options to hold Iran appropriately accountable. And then just uh, on the logistics of this, with roughly 300 drones and missiles shot down, can you talk about <coughs> how you will assess the debris fields and the shrapnel and how much that um, impacted people on the ground? Well, we're not going to be doing any kind of an assessment uh, of uh, the impact on the ground. The Israeli Defense Forces and Israeli officials have already been out and about looking at the impact on the ground. There were very few missiles that got through, and the only damage that was done, it was very minor damage to one air base in, in Israel um, that did not even put that air base out of commission. The Israelis have already spoken to this. I believe they've already released imagery of some of the things they found on the ground. Sadly, a, a young girl, an innocent civilian, less than 10 years old, was severely wounded. That was the only casualty that we're aware of. Thank you, John. Thank you. Uh,